Minecraft is a game made by Notch, or Marcus Pearson in 2011. Since then throughout the years it has become the best-selling game of all time, which is a title it's held for a long time. Since its inception and even before its creation it has had its mysteries, secrets, and controversies that have piled up over the years. So I had an epiphany. I got entries from Minecraft icebergs across the internet and piled them all up into this iceberg right here. I will be going into extreme detail with each entry and it will take me 2 to 4 videos to finish this iceberg if I don't want to go insane with my first attempt at an iceberg. In this video we will be covering the two first parts of this iceberg. So let's stop procrastinating and just get into it. Our first layer will be the skies. This layer contains the things that most people who don't even play Minecraft know about. So if you don't want to die of boredom or you already know all of these things I recommend you just skip this layer. Notch. Notch is the founder of Minecraft. His real name is Marcus Pearson and he is the person most people think about when they think about creators of Minecraft. However Marcus is not actually working at the Minecraft company anymore, as he sold Minecraft to Microsoft because he was getting droves of hate by the community of Minecraft for not updating Minecraft to the frequency the community wanted. After he had sold Minecraft to Microsoft, he made a series of controversial tweets on his Twitter account. Stuff like bashing extreme feminists and homophobes. And, because it's Twitter everyone started to cancel him. Not to mention he did marry someone, which resulted in a divorce as she wanted to be with a more normal person. It all really makes you feel bad for him. Mojang would soon remove any reference to Notch in Minecraft, like the title screen texts including made by Notch work of Notch in 110813 the day that Notch got married. So, yeah. A pretty sad story when you look back at it. Hero Brian. Hero Brian was an old creepy pasta relating to Minecraft that started on 4chan. I'll read it here because I did say I'll go in depth with each entry. I had recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first as I began chopping down trees and crafting a workbench. I noticed something move amongst the dense fog. I have a very slow computer so I have to play with a tiny render distance. I thought it was a cow, so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. It wasn't a cow though. Looking back at me was another character with the default skin, but his eyes were empty. I saw no name pop up, and I double checked to make sure I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long, he looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity, but he was gone. I continued on with the game, not sure what to think. As I expanded to world I saw things that seemed out of place for the random map generator to make, 2x2 two two tunnels in the rocks, small perfect pyramids made of sand in the ocean, and groves of trees with all their leaves cut off. I would constantly think I saw the other player in a deep fog, but I never got a better look at him. I tried increasing my render distance to far whenever I thought I saw him, but to no avail. I saved the map and went on the forums to see if anyone else had found a pseudo player. There were none. I created my own topic telling of the man and asking if anyone had a similar experience. The post was deleted within 5 minutes. I tried again, and the topic was deleted even faster. I received a PM from username Hero Brian containing one word, stop. When I went to look at Hero Brian profile, the page 400 Ford. I received an email from another forum user. He claimed the mods can read the forum user messages, so we were safer using email. The emailer claimed that he had seen the mystery player too, and had a small directory of other users who had seen him as well. Their worlds were littered with obviously man-made features as well, and described their mystery player to have no pupils. About a month passed until I heard from my informant again. Some of the people who had encountered the mystery man had looked into the name Hero Brian and found that name to be frequently used by a Swedish gamer. After some further information gathering, it was revealed to be the brother of Notch, the game's developer. I personally emailed Notch, and asked him if he had a brother. It took him a while. But he emailed me back a very short message. I did, but he is no longer with us. 
Notch I haven't seen the mystery man since our first encounter, and I haven't noticed any changes to the world other than my own. I was able to press print screen when I first saw him. Here's the only evidence of his existence. So yeah, you either find this creepy pasta super unique or just flat out funny. However, the seed that was shown in that image had a lot of people wondering, what seed was that? But I will get into that later down the iceberg. Disc 11 slash 13 slash 5, Disc 11, 13 and 5 all had their legacy as music discs on our beloved game, Minecraft. So, let's take a listen shall we? Yeah, you can tell something is wrong. These music discs all contain very weird, scary, and unnerving noises. Disc 11 has sounds of explosions, minecarts, heavy breathing, and the such. Which sound all too familiar to the cave ambience noises, which I will get into later. Number 13 is basically just 11 but slightly less scary. Matt Pot aka The Game Theorists has made videos on 11, 13, and 5. So you can just watch those if you want a non-text-to-speech voice narrating them. Number 5, according to Madpot, is the sound of an army, deep in the caves, trying to escape the wither, but failing. Although at the last parts you can hear a warden come out of a portal and kill the wither. Sounds of sirens and big doors support this theory. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Anyways, these discs probably scared a lot of children back then. A lot of people also believed Disc 11 was an Enderman attack, but there is no real solid evidence for that. Soul Sand Texture This entry is referring to how many people have noticed that the texture looks like souls of the dead. I'm not going to even deny this because you can clearly see the texture, it's literally named Soul Sand. This might even be why the wither is made of Soul Sand. Notch Temple this was a famous server, map in Minecraft that shows Marcus Pearson's face carved into a treacherous mountain. Nostalgic players will immediately recognize this and this was indeed a very popular map back in the day. In the map you would throw a gift into a well and a wall would open, where you would see his face carved into the massive cliff. Overall a map with a pretty good message in remembrance of Notch. Revenge Revenge was a famous song, and meme created by Captain Sparkles based on the song DJ Got Us Fallen In Love that was made a long time ago in the early 2010s. The song revolves around a creeper harassing a Minecraft player, so the Minecraft player gets diamonds and makes armor and weapons to kill a few creepers. Recently the video's audio got changed to a different, arguably worse song due to copyright. However recently it was fixed back to its original audio. Endermen are builders, this theory states that Endermen are ancient builders before us that created an end portal to escape the wither, but got trapped in the end, so they ate chorus fruit which turned them into the Endermen we know today. Matpot covered this theory in a multitude of videos on his channel. I honestly believe in this theory as it has a lot of evidence to back it up. A sub-theory to this is that, the wither skeletons are eroded skeletons of ancient builders. And that's why when you mix soul sand with wither skeleton skulls it will create the embodiment of anarchy that is the wither. Seeds Seeds are a essential part of Minecraft that randomizes terrain generation and mob spawning. Each seed has a number with different blocks, mobs, and etc. throughout the 60 million block radius of Minecraft. This means that there are quadrillions, quintillions, or quite possibly infinite seeds that can happen. We will be mentioning seeds throughout these videos on multiple occasions. Farlands The Farlands were spongy, extremely strange terrain generation that happened 12 million blocks out in the versions of Minecraft before Beta 1.8. There have been multiple people who have actually took the time to walk 12 million blocks in that version of Minecraft to reach the Farlands. The Farlands were replaced by the world border that we know today. 
that is 30 million blocks out instead of 12, and cannot be crossed, by normal means anyway. Cave Ambience Cave ambience are sounds that play inside caves, or when it's dark. They go from angelic screaming to minecart noises, here are some cave ambience sounds. Absolute Nightmare Fuel Name Tag Easter Eggs Name Tag Easter Eggs are Easter Eggs that happen by naming mobs certain things. Naming a mob dinner bone will flip it upside down. Naming a bunny toast will make it black and white. Naming a Vindicator Johnny will make it attack everything except you, other illagers, and certain mobs and naming a sheep Jeb underscore will make it flip between colors. Minecraft Dungeons Minecraft Dungeons is an action-adventure RPG inspired by classic dungeon crawlers. Quoted by the Mojang team the first standalone game developed by Mojang and set in the Minecraft universe since. Well, Minecraft. Honestly I don't play Minecraft Dungeons because I am not that into RPGs. I do know there is a new game being created by Mojang by the name of Minecraft Legends. Who's excited for that? Nobody? Me neither. Education Edition Minecraft Education Edition is a special edition of Minecraft made for, you guessed it, education. Servers are extremely easy to make on it and it has various maps for different subjects like science. Let's be real, no kid is actually playing this for education. They all just want to play Minecraft during school. Modify Jungle Edge The Modify Jungle Edge, or now called the Sparse Jungle Edge, is the rarest biome in Minecraft. It happens when there's a swamp edge that is just right next to a sparse slash modified jungle. Even then you need insane luck and even when you do find one they are usually just under 20 blocks wide slash long. Finding this biome requires some insane luck and exploration. To be 2 t 2B2T or the oldest anarchy server is an extremely old anarchy server that was founded in the winter of 2010, it also doubles as one of the longest running server maps in all of Minecraft, which has never been reset since its creation. The server has almost no rules or authority, and hacking slash griefing are common on this server. The server was brought to mainstream relevance when famous YouTubers like FitMC and salsi one m made videos on it. I could go on and on about the highways, bases, and hacks, and I will. In the server there are four main highways, one being a canal, all of them are for the players that need to escape spawn and go out hundreds of thousands of blocks out to escape the anarchy near spawn. Oh did I mention spawn? Spawn is an extremely dangerous area made of obsidian, cobblestone, and whatever else you can think of that is covering spawn. The world borders of the nether and overworld have also both been reached. If you want more information on this subject I recommend watching one of the many YouTubers that I mentioned. Pocket Edition Pocket Edition is an edition of Minecraft that was made for mobile devices like phones and tablets. The version has since gotten a lot of backlash from the community, as it has fairly bad performance and less content than the other editions. I will be mentioning Pocket Edition later down the iceberg. Pink Sheep Pink Sheep are very rare variants of the sheep mob. They have pink dye. Yup, that's pretty much it. I know I said I would go in depth with each entry but some of these are just that. Hypixel, Hypixel is a Minecraft server that's popular for its unique skyblock. 
Normal sky block is just island, chest, and tree. But Hypixel sky block contains much more, with different weapons, armor, tools, magic, farming, and etc. etc. Although it's not just sky block, Hypixel does have some other minigames. Recently famous Hypixel YouTuber Technoblade died due to cancer. It shook the Hypixel community and YouTube as a whole. Rest in peace. And to end off the layer, Dream Speed Running Controversy. The Dream Speed Running Controversy was a controversy related to speed runs that Dream did on Minecraft. On the same year the Dream got 15 million subscribers and collaborated with famous celebs like Mr. Beast. He also was accused of cheating on a speed run that he did. Dream legit hired an astrophysicist to write his defense paper. Dream was getting Ender Pearls from Piglins at an astronomically high rate, that led famous YouTubers like Video Game Donkey to accuse Dream of cheating on his speed runs. There was a 29-page investigation into if Dream was cheating. The whole thing was psychotic and people went to insane lengths to figure out if this guy was cheating. And well, they were correct, Dream admitted that he had partially cheated on his speed run. Overall a pretty interesting case. Dream today is popular again due to him doing a face reveal. The whole internet was really harsh towards him. That was a nice layer, now it's time to move on to the tip of the iceberg. These entries are things the average occasional Minecraft player knows about. Let's jump off the helicopter and land onto the tip of the iceberg. Java and Bedrock Debate The Java and Bedrock Debate is a debate that's been going on which edition of Minecraft is better, Bedrock, or Java. Java has smoother performance and better modding, but Bedrock has less lag and a few smaller things. Many YouTubers like Antvinum have made videos comparing the two. It seems that most content creators use Java, but more normies use Bedrock. Personally in my opinion Java is better. The videos that YouTubers like IBX Toycat and others make on Bedrock are uninformed and just flat out funny. Still, people who stay to one edition will defend it no matter the cost. Unused mobs, unused mobs are mobs inside the game files that can't actually spawn, although you can spawn them with commands, these include, the illusioner, the giant, and the zombie horse. How did we get here, how did we get here is an advancement, achievement that you get for having every status effect, potion effect, and etc at once. You can look at all of them here. Unbeatable seeds. Unbeatable seeds are seeds that have been found that either have an unsurvivable spawn area, like a lava pool, or all the end portals have been blocked off by say, an ocean monument. A few people have beaten the odds and legitimately beat some of these unbeatable seeds in vanilla. Mincer Raft. Mincer Raft is a rare occurrence where sometimes on your title screen instead of saying the usual Minecraft it will say, you guessed it, Mimsa Raft. That's pretty much it. Gears, gears were features from the earlier versions of Minecraft that were removed, they come in the form of a regular gear, they are animated but they don't have any functional use or redstone use, and just for design. Honestly I think they should have kept this. It could have been a banger block in steampunk builds. Killer Bunny The Killer Bunny was a discontinued mob in Minecraft. Its features resemble a white, fluffy bunny with bright red eyes. Don't let its cute appearance trick you though. This bunny will constantly chase after you and try to kill you. This bunny was discontinued from Minecraft versions though. Fire Chainmail Fire Chainmail refers to how in earlier versions of Minecraft, you could get fire blocks and use them to craft chainmail armor. 
The fire block could be crafted by combining a flint and steel and a piece of paper on your workbench. Correction, I'm not actually sure how fire was crafted, I'll look into it. Honestly I don't know what went through the mind of the developers when they made this, chainmail can just stay as a rubbish armor that's found in mine shafts. Glow Squid Controversy The Glow Squid Controversy was a controversy revolving around, Dream. Again. A quick rundown is that, on the mob vote of 2020, mob votes being voting sessions by the community to pick the next mob to be added to Minecraft. Dream had made a post telling everyone to vote for the Glow Squid, which the community did. The Glow Squid won and led people who had picked the other mobs to accuse Dream of rigging the mob vote. The Glow Squid clearly was not the best mob, the Isheologer was the only one that actually had a useful purpose. The Void The Void is an empty, black abyss below bedrock. The player will constantly take more damage the more they go down it like the world border but for Y levels. The only mob that does not take damage in it is the Ender Dragon, which makes the Ender Dragon the only mob to be able to exist at any Y level. Fossils Fossils are very rare structures in Minecraft that only generate in deserts, swamps, swamp hills, and mangrove swamps. They are comprised of bone blocks, coal ore and diamond ore. If you took the time to find one of these you probably need to go touch some narrow oh mean to be oh, hell no, man. Ether. The Ether was a kind of, urban legend or modded dimension in Minecraft from the early days. To get to this heaven-like area you would make a portal out of glowstone in the shape of a nether portal, and place a water bucket in the middle. Farther Lands. The Farther Lands is a variation of the Far Lands that generates once a player reaches deep into the Far Lands, around the vicinity of 1,004,065,811 blocks. This area generates about 80 times farther away than the Far Lands. Features within the Farther Lands appear more stretched out and smoother than the regular Far Lands. These were mostly covered by Antvine in the so if you want more information just watch him. Brown Panda Slash Mushroom The brown pandas and mushrooms are two unique skins of the panda and the mushroom. The mushrooms spawn in mushroom islands, and if they get struck by lightning, nurturally or naturally, it will turn them into a brown mushroom. And brown pandas also have a low chance of spawning. And pandas only spawn in bamboo jungles, which make them rarer. Cave Game Cave Game was the original name for Minecraft before it was called Minecraft. This version of Minecraft had much less content and you can see some of the playthroughs of it through YouTube. Creepers are based on a real plant. This theory implies that, according to Google, creepers have been determined to be a species of mobile peat moss through thorough scientific deduction performed by the YouTube channel Game Theory. They have the texture of dried, crunchy leaves. It can be assumed that their tall, slim body allows them to better keep an eye out for potential victims. Although the official Mobus Cheery does not really support this theory. Nether Reactor The Nether Reactor was a feature exclusive to Pocket Edition. According to the wiki, the reactor was constructed by placing gold blocks, cobblestone, and a nether reactor core in the 3 times 3 times 3 arrangement shown to the right. Air blocks were required on the middle and top layers. If the structure was incorrect, attempting to activate the reactor resulted in the client message not the correct pattern. Empty Beta Servers This entry refers to the fact that there are hundreds and possibly more empty servers from the versions before 1.0. These servers have lost their relevance and have become desolate empty remembrances of what used to be a thriving community. Steve posting was done by Mojang. Now before I explain the theory, I have to explain what Steve posting is. Steve posting was a trend where people would get a grotesque render of Steve and post about it, saying that Steve would be in Smash Brothers. Hey, like that would ever happen. Oh. Anyways, the theory states that this was done to promote Minecraft by Mojang or something along the lines of that. 
title screen seed. This refers to how Minecraft players were able to find the seed to the original title screen seed of Minecraft. To find it, the group used Minecraft at Home, an ongoing collaborative research project in which people's idle computers are used to scan the many environs for specific landmarks. Within 24 hours, the seed for the title screen panorama was found by a Minecraft at Home user. The location has since been verified, and the coordinates released. Also, all the other title screens of Minecraft were found as well. Pack.png Pack.png was the image for the OG texture pack of Minecraft. The Minecraft at Home team and YouTuber Sal C1 decided to find the seed to this image. Many different techniques were used to find it. And they did eventually after many failed attempts. And to end off part 1 of this iceberg, Hero Brian Seed. Now, remember this seed? Yeah, the Minecraft at Home team used different strategies to find the seed for the infamous image. And one strategy inevitably worked. I don't go in detail with a lot of seed entries because each of these could probably have their own video on it. And, that was part 1 of the Minecraft iceberg. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you found this video informative, enjoyable, etc. I recommend watching some of my other videos and deciding for yourself if you want to subscribe. In the next video we will be covering the next 3 layers of the iceberg. So stay tuned, my name is Seedlerfy, and have a nice day.